In Unit 3, we will familiarize ourselves with different types of literature. This unit is divided into nine sections. Section 1. Monographs and textbooks. A monograph is a single piece of academic work that deals with a single subject or a single research problem. In the context of academic research, scientific or scholarly monographs are relevant. Typically, there is one author who has written the monograph. In some cases, two or more authors have written the monograph in cooperation. Still, the monograph would deal with a single subject and would be self-contained. In this, it differs from works of literature in which several authors have written on multiple subjects or topics. Therefore, anthologies and encyclopedia are not viewed as monographs. Examples of academic monographs are as follows. A bachelor's thesis, a master's thesis, a specialized book, a doctoral thesis, a professorial thesis. A professorial thesis has the highest quality and credibility. In contrast, a bachelor thesis has the lowest academic standing. It should be noted that due to quality uncertainty, one should selectively use master theses and bachelor theses as information sources in a student research project. In some cases, textbooks are referred to as monographs as well. However, a textbook can be distinguished from a monograph in terms of its audience. The target group of textbooks are students or beginners in the field of study. In contrast, a monograph aims predominantly at experienced academics and researchers as well as advanced practitioners. For students, distinguishing between monographs and textbooks can be a challenge. If a book contains questions, problems and exercises, this could indicate that it is a textbook. Due to their audience and their mostly introductory character, textbooks are typically not considered suitable as references in a research project. However, some advanced textbooks are considered as generally accepted reference sources and may be deemed to be credible and citable references in their discipline. An initial indicator of whether or not a textbook is suitable as a reference within a research paper may be its title. Sample textbook titles signaling an introductory character could be Fundamentals of Financial Markets or Marketing and Introduction or Introduction to Managerial Accounting. Titles which suggest a more advanced and comprehensive approach to the subject might indicate the more advanced nature of a textbook. Examples could be Principles of Financial Engineering or Marketing, Analysis, Planning, Implementation and Control or Managerial Accounting. In contrast, monograph titles signal more depth and sophistication. This is exemplified with the titles Synthetic Securitization of Multiseller Mortgage Loan Portfolios, Relevance of Product Naming and Brand Management, Treatment of Corporate Taxes and Managerial Accounting. These titles indicate a detailed, specific and in-depth work on one subject area. In addition to evaluating the title of a publication in terms of its introductory or more advanced character, one should skim the content of the publication in order to clarify its level of sophistication. Section 2. Articles in Academic Journals Basically, an article is a non-fictional text that deals with a specific subject and is self-contained. Articles are published in print or in electronic format. Academic articles are published in academic journals. Academic journals are periodically published. An editorial board sets academic standards for articles to be published. Typically, an institutionalized review process ensures compliance with academic standards. The rigor of the review process determines inter alia the quality level of the journal. 
Informally, one refers to academic journals with the highest quality as A journals. In this sense, also B journals, C journals, D journals, E journals, etc. are distinguished. Section 3. Concise Dictionaries Concise information is a piece of communication providing the essence of a subject or topic in a condensed but comprehensive way. A concise dictionary is an academic, professional or technical encyclopedia that encompasses the generally accepted and substantiated state of knowledge of a discipline. Typically, it is organized in dictionary entries or concise articles addressing terms or subject matters of a specific field, for example, marketing, economics, finance, etc. Section 4. Edited Works A commonly used type of literature is the edited work. There are different terms for edited work that may be used as synonyms or may describe types of edited work more precisely. The basic form of an edited work is the edited book. The term edited volume might be used as a synonym for edited book or, in some cases, refers to the fact that the work consists of more than one volume. The term anthology is another synonym for edited work. Although a term typically used for collections of poetry and fiction, the name anthology is, in some cases, also used for collections of academic articles. The term reader might refer to a published edited work or, in other cases, to a collection of articles and papers that have been distributed on an informal basis, for example, in the context of a course at a university. The expression collected work is used for an edited book in which all or the most important works of a single person have been collected and published. In many cases, the collected work serves to honor a famous and or deceased author by making her or his ideas available to a broader audience. For all forms of edited work applies. It contains a collection of self-contained works. Typically, the book chapters of an academic edited work resemble journal articles and contain non-fictional text. The term edited implies that there are one or more editors. The editors are responsible for setting the stage of the edited work and select the contributing authors. Edited work can be published in print or electronic format. Section 5 Working papers. A working paper is a non fictional text that deals with a specific subject and is self contained. Working papers are published in print or in electronic format. Other names for a working paper are discussion paper or research paper. Working papers can be published on a standalone basis or in a working paper series. Editions of a working paper series appear on an irregular basis. Editors can be an institution such as a university or an organization or a group of persons. Although a formal review process with respect to the submitted text does not exist in many cases, compliance with academic standards is expected. In contrast to journal articles, working papers are a fast way of publishing research results. Furthermore, working papers are advantageous to receive a feedback from one's own research community. At a later point in time, a revised version of a working paper's text might be published as an article in an academic journal or as a book chapter. Section 6. Conference Proceedings An academic conference paper is a non-fictional, self-contained text that deals with a specific subject. Conference papers can be refereed or not refereed by conference hosts and selected experts. Typically, the purpose of a conference paper is to present research not yet published. Its presentation may be accompanied by an oral presentation, 
and or a poster presentation. Normally, academic conference papers are published as conference proceedings, a special type of an edited book. Editors of the conference proceedings may be a group of persons that have organized the academic conference and or external experts. The publication may or may not be accompanied by a formal review process. Conference papers are made available in printed or electronic form. Section 7 White Papers and Green Papers The term white paper, also referred to as white book, is used in two areas. First, white papers are issued by institutions or governments in order to announce a political or regulatory position. Whether a white paper states a final version of an intended policy or is merely an intermediate process step prior to legislation depends upon the legislatory circumstances of the country where it is published. Second, the term white paper is also used in business-to-business -business marketing for documents that are intended to support the marketing of products and services. A green paper is a preliminary proposal made by an institution or a government. The major purpose of a green paper is the announcement of intended policy action in order to receive feedback from interested parties. Green papers are often predecessors of white papers. Section 8. Consultation papers, technical papers, manuals. Other types of literature applied in academic research are consultation papers, technical papers and manuals. Similar to a white paper or a green paper, a consultation paper states a proposal by an institution or a government. The major purpose of a consultation paper is to announce intended policy action in order to receive feedback from interested parties via an institutionalized consultation process. A technical paper is issued by a governmental or supranational institution. The document describes and or prescribes technical standards and procedures to be applied in a given field. In many cases, it has a legal or quasi-legal character. A manual, also referred to as a user guide, is a technical documentation of software, hardware or other technical equipment and machinery. Section 9. Legal Sources and Documents Legal sources and legal documents are types of literature not only applied in legal research but likewise in other fields of academic research. Examples of legal sources and documents are bodies of laws in the form of constitutions, acts, bills, statutes, decrees, regulations, legal commentaries in the form of comments on laws and relevant court decisions, Contracts in the form of agreements, treaties, conventions, deeds and model contracts. Court decisions in the form of judicial rulings and other legally binding decisions made by entrusted institutions, as for example chambers of commerce. Court reviews such as commentaries on court decisions written by scholars or legal practitioners.